What up, YouTubers? A little bit of everything here. And for the very first time, I will be making a gaming video. And today's game will be Star Wars Battlefront. I'll give you some tips and advice on this game if you play this game. I'll do other uh, Fortnite videos. And I'll be getting a new Anthem game soon. Um... Anyway, more on that. Let's hop right into it. And here we are. Okay. Uh, so, we will be using this on an Xbox controller. And I will be using not the traditional black Xbox controller, but the new and improved blue Xbox controller. Here we go. Nice and blue. So this is my signature controller. And to make it seem a little bit better to see, I shall turn off the light. Oh, that does not look very... Okay, I don't think you guys can see it very well, so I'm going to turn the lights back on. Much better. Okay, let's just hop right into it. Okay, so we will be playing in the multiplayer section. There's a multiplayer. I, I, uh, your mission skirmish, we won't be doing that in today's video. Today we'll be doing um, multiplayer. Actually, no. No, let's, I'll do multiplayer in another video. For today, we are going to do the missions. Go to missions. We're going to do survival. Um, we will choose survival on Tatooine and solo play. Here we are. You can choose the settings. For your hands, I personally like the uh, Iron Torpedo, and my favorite gun is a TL-50 Heavy Repeater, and I'm going to press start. Here we are. So here, okay, to shoot your gun, you're going to press this button right here. Here's your X, this is for Xbox only. This button right here, that's how you shoot. This button right here, let me pause that. This button right here is to zoom in. Sorry, let me move. This, buzz, this button right here says zoom in. This button, shoot, zoom in. To melee or to hit someone with your gun, you're going to press down this button. To jump, A. And that's also to resume. And to enter a vehicle, you will press X. I don't know if you can see it or not. And to do an emote, you will press one of these four things on the cursor. So, let's watch this. There's a jump pack there. I can hold Y for my shield here if I wanted to dodge the stormtroopers. See, there's one dude right here, so I'll melee him using that to press down the button, and I'll use my secondary power, or sorry, secondary force. With this gun, you will hold down the zoom button to shoot a second, a secondary fire, which is a bomb. Now we will, I'm gonna go back. Right here, LB, you will press this button right here. That button right there, not this one, but this one. To jump pack. If you have that jump pack, place. So yeah, that button right there. 
This button to use the ion torpedo. Ion support torpedo is only usable on enemies. Remember, you hold Y to use your shield if you have that shield setting. So now we'll go over here. Here's a shock trooper. He's one of the most dangerous. But if you know how to handle him, see right now he's shooting at me. So I'll melee him. Some enemies are harder than others. It depends on their stormtrooper level. So you never know. So there is a pod over here that I'm supposed to claim. And once I claim them, to claim this pod, I have to press X. This, I use my jump pack to get over there. Oh no, he, there's an ATST. So I claim this pod, and I will wait for it to load right here. And once it is load, it will give me uh, power ups to use against my enemies. Now I'm going to wait for the ATST to get over here. Or here it is, right here. So now I can use my ion shot, and I will zoom in, and once the circle is formed, I will shoot. I need to get out of here. So I use my shield. And you should always aim in the eyes of the ATST, because that's where the driver is, and you want to kill the driver. Okay, so I see that my pods have been claimed, and they have finished loading. So all I have to do is get past this ATST. I'll do another one of these once it has load and get to my pod. And here we are. These circle things represent a power up and I already chose one. See at the very bottom of my hands there is a uh, smart rocket. So this is a bazooka that you can use against enemies. So I'll use that against him. And see, his health bar is almost low, so if I use that, he died. So there we go. That's how you destroy an ATST. Now, to the next skill. Okay. Now, to see that heart right there? I have two lives right here, so if I die, I can use one of those hearts. And if I collect that heart, I have another life to spend. So that heart is collected, and now I will fight. Okay, so on a big cluster of stormtroopers or bad guys or whatever it is you guys are fighting, it is always good to use secondary fire if you have it. Not all settings are available to secondary fire. I'm going to actually get one of my other power-ups. See, I got my new power-up. So now here's an orbital strike and it will actually, you know, just watch what it does. So this is a good time to use a shield when you don't think you can handle it anymore. And to escape. And this is on the normal mode. There are other settings if you want to make it harder for you. So here's another shock trooper. These guys can be kind of hard sometimes, so you might have to brace yourself. So I finished that wave. There are 15 waves in one game. I forgot to mention, there is a, there's different types of stormtroopers every round. For example, this is a jump trooper. This is a trooper with a jetpack, just like I have. So see how he's not moving? You can get inside his shield and kill him. See? That's what that jump trooper does. So sometimes it's kind of easier to just escape than to fight back. And that's what you might have to do most of the time. Yep, and blah, blah, blah.
Okay, all stormtroopers have been eliminated. There will be a new stormtrooper be introduced in the next wave. Now see here, there's a drop pod. I need to go collect that for more power-ups. And you see that I don't have any more shields. If I want more shields, I need to collect these lightning bolt things. That gives me another charge. That's what those are called. So I'm going to collect this real quick by pressing X. And you cannot let... Alright, that thing that I just deployed, that is a Mitchell missile launcher for vehicles. And this is going to be a heck of a game. So, let's get out of here. Okay. ATST is dead. Thanks to me. And our pod is lost. See that exploded pod? The Imperials gained control of that for way too long and we lost it, so we can't let that happen. On to the next wave. At this point I think you guys know the the pattern of most things. Those are scout scout pistols, scout troopers right here. The guys, these snipers, those guys are dangerous if they snipe you from a long ways. So let's go get that heart over there for another life. So we have a another less chance of losing. Here we are! Okay, so heart is collected. And there is a less probability of us losing this game. Did I mention that when you get a headshot, you get more points for that headshot than if it's just a kill? So you guys always want to aim for the head. Let's get this charge. These guys are smart rocketers. These guys will aim missiles at you. These are the only stormtroopers with no helmets. Okay, I think we might want to escape over here. Yep. Definitely escaping. We run there, run there, run there. Escaping is a good tactic when coming to this and you don't want to run into all these different stormtroopers. I'm just going to kill them. Headshot right there. And recovering is always good. But not... I, I, see, he's aiming at me and he just shot a missile at me. But if you guys aren't as good at Battlefront, I don't recommend fighting them off at low health. Unless you want to die, of course. And I don't know if anyone really wants to do that. Another hack on this. If you have stormtroopers in the area, shoot at these canisters. They'll blow up. <laughs> so, yep, these guys are a hassle to kill. So, I'm just gonna speed it up for everyone. Okay, and we are done. There's another uh, drop pod, so we're gonna go claim that right now. Luckily, you don't have to teleport over there. Oh, great. Another ATST. See that dude in the distance? Right over there. I don't know if you guys can see it on that screen. But there will be a bunch of people. Now, all I have to do is wait here and not let any Imperials get this. Shield, shield, I just heard shield. Oh man, this is gonna be tough. But they're all gonna die in three, two, one. Woo! We made it alive, but. <laughs> 
Man, that was a hassle. Just wait till wave 15. There's another heart. I won't bother getting that one right now. I think we have enough. Okay, these shadow troopers. These black shadow, these black stormtroopers are probably the most dangerous because they can turn invisible and can only be seen with the infrared detector, the X-19 sniper. So if you have a game with a bunch of shadow troopers in them, see there's one right now, turning invisible. I suggest you get the X-19 sniper. I'll be the best. So let's see one get killed. <laughs> this. Nope, they're not here. Oh, I just... There is a sniper right there. These guys can be dangerous if they hit you. Just our average stormtroopers. Come on, yeah, okay, there is a shadow trooper. These guys, you have to, you have to be careful around. That leaves the shadow troopers. So we'll go find these. There's a shadow trooper. It's trying to turn invisible, but it's not going to work. These guys are the hardest to kill, and they have the power, most powerful gun. Don't even bother to try and melee them, because it won't work. Their gun is just way too powerful. So, that's all the stormtroopers for now. We'll skip a few waves until the very end. Okay, four waves later. The last wave. This wave has all the stormtroopers plus the ATST. So this is going to be the hardest wave. Oh, I can already sense people shooting at me. That's not always the great sign. There he, there he is. I don't know if you guys can see him. We're going to have to use a lot of shields and escape techniques to complete this level. Okay. Oh man. At this point, don't bother getting the heart because you already have enough and you don't want to waste your time. I'm not saying don't get any hearts because you're going to want to get hearts. In each of these tutorials, I will use a different gun so it will not always be the same gun. Just to let you know. So now my lives are full, and if I die, I can replenish them easily. Okay, so we've seen a scout trooper, a shock trooper, a shadow trooper, and these. The uh, homing shot troopers, these dudes are here, the one that I'm just shooting at right now. And nature's deadliest. This is a miracle how I'm not dying. Oh, never mind, I spoke too soon. So, this is a good learning opportunity. I died, but the game is not over yet. Press A to spend a life. I will use a different gun this time. How about the... I'll use the X-8 Night Sniper, which is the one that you can see the uh, Stormtroopers, and, and the uh, Shadow Troopers with. And, yep, we will continue. Oh, great. Let me get to a safe area. Okay, getting to a safe area. Uh, we're not going to claim the pod right now because, you know... We already have enough power-ups, and there's no points because the game will be over very soon. Uh, here, we're going to zoom in real quick, and you can see an inf infrared light, infrared light. 
You can see the stormtroopers in infrared light. Uh, let's go find a stormtrooper to tell you what I mean. Uh, you can't see machines with infrared light because it senses body heat. Just a little science lesson here while playing video games. It's almost dead. Come on. Now let's zoom in. Zoom in. No, no. That button didn't work. Okay, we're almost done with this. I'm gonna kill the last of the guys. Say hello to my little friend. Done. See? In prayer light. That's how you can sense the body heat of this, of the Shadow Troopers. We have finished the game! And there you have it, kids and adults, whoever's playing this. I don't recommend kids playing this game. <laughs> there you have it, people. Tutorial on a survival in Tatooine. Have a nice day.